By making a couple of relatively low-key transfer moves in the winter, Juventus may be setting up two massive deals for the summer. It has been reported the return of Paul Pogba from Manchester United is likely, while Juventus is preparing a major bid for Liverpool defender Virgil van Dijk. With Liverpool poised to win the Premier League title, Juventus hopes Van Dijk is ready for a new challenge and is prepared to offer the Reds 180 million euros. After talking about a contract extension early in the season, Torino has turned 180 degrees on manager Walter Mazzari. Although Torino had lost just twice during a recent eight-game Serie A run, three straight defeats while conceding 15 goals led to Mazzari being fired. There has also been another change at relegation-threatened Brescia, where Eugenio Corini has been sacked for the second time this season. The touchline run-in between Kylian Mbappe and Thomas Tuchel has stoked talk the young forward will leave PSG this summer. There is a chance Mbappe will move, but Tuchel does not believe it will be because of a dispute between him and the player. He is one of our players. He plays for our club. I made that decision, and that decision is the coach's job. While Mbappe might leave this summer, Tuchel could also depart, tipped to take over as manager of Bayern Munich. The cracks of discontent at Barcelona are widening, as some, including Lionel Messi, start to air their grievances in public. After sporting director Eric Abadal tried to blame the players for Ernesto Valverde's sacking, Messi took the rare step of publicly rebuking a superior. When things don't go well on the pitch, the players are the first ones to recognize as much. Those in the sporting department at the club should also take responsibility for their actions and decisions. Midfielder Ivan Rakitic had also taken a shot at the Barcelona administration, critical of his treatment as he was shopped around during the transfer window. It would not be a normal football week unless there was criticism of the video assistant referee system from Josi Mourinho. The Tottenham manager is strongly opposed to VAR in its current format, believing it produces too much confusion and too many errors. When they have all the time on the VAR, it's more difficult to, it's more difficult to accept and we are being very, very punished. It has been reported VAR use is lower in the Premier League than any other competition, but it remains unpopular with fans, players and managers. After recent criticism and queries over his performances, Kepa Ariza Balaga was dropped to the Chelsea bench for the weekend draw with Leicester. Which has now raised questions about his future and whether Chelsea looks to sell Kepa, who cost 80 million euros, and bring in a replacement. The winding journey of Kevin Prince Boateng continues with a 13th club added to his career CV. After making 15 appearances for Fiorentina following a move from Barcelona via Sassuolo in the summer, Boateng has signed with Besiktas on loan. Thanks for watching. For all your major news, latest results and in-depth analysis from across the football world, make sure you hit the subscribe button.